Hey. Uh, welcome to Super Apartment Friends. I'm Matt, and uh, this is our Friday bonus stream. Uh, and I'm playing Star Trek. Make it so. Uh, I had a little had a little vote on Twitter about whether I should continue my Starfleet Ferengi campaign or continue my uh, badass Lady Klingon campaign or if I should start something different. And we had two votes. One was me. Uh, so that doesn't count. And then the other one was for Klingon stuff. So, whoever voted, you getting your wish. You getting your Klingon shit. Because Klingons are awesome, anyway. So, it works out for me, too. But, uh, yeah. Hope everybody's having a super apartment Friday. And, uh, let's, uh, let's do this. Red alert! And play some fucking store trick. Yeah. See, that's the thing, I got three, I've got three character slots left, so, you know, we can make that happen. What up? Hi, Jess. You ready for some Klingon shit aboard the IKS Gazorpazorp? Rock and roll! <sighs> All right. Okay, I don't remember what I was doing. Oh no! What's up? Uh oh! Jess, is that you or is that Jeff? Ah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that butts up is a is a dead giveaway. Track down the escaped prisoner. Talk to the used ship salesman. I don't even have a ship yet. Please choose a ship tier to begin. Well, let's start with tier 5, right? The best tier? Whoa. Oh, this is so much. This is so much to parse out. Just tell me which one's the best one. <laughs> oh my god. The Hegta brings everlasting death to foes of the Empire! Klingons are the best. Klingons are the best. Okay. So I should talk to the used ship salesman. I don't know who that is, though. Customize your ship. Yeah, I do have a ship already. Select your ship. Yeah. The IKS Gazorbazor, baby! <laughs> Um, I... Do I have my dagger? How do I... Boy, I gotta remember how to do everything. I don't know what that was. Uh, ba 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 ba. It puts me into, like, battle mode. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's right. So I've got, uh... Yeah. I got my bat left. I'm not even using a dagger. I got like a rifle and a big ass Klingon sword. But maybe, I don't know. I guess if they're like bad Klingons, I would stab them, but I'm probably going to kill a bunch of Federation scum. <laughs> or talk to uh boho. Uh, Boo. <laughs> That's what that person's name is. That person's name is how I laugh. Boo. <laughs> MMOs are weird. So that's ship selection. We need to talk to the salesman. Ship equipment. That looks like Batman. Talk to Batman. Huh. All right. Oh, Lionos here. <laughs> Get a new starship. What are the different ship types? Tell me about the game. Hell yeah, I want a bird of prey. That's badass. 
Birds of prey have been a key part of Klingon battle tactics for decades. Oh, those are the little guys. Alright, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> it probably wouldn't make a thrilling stream if I just went through menus. Uh, shuttle information. How do I get a du jour de chariot? Hi, Jess. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if I can, I don't know. I am a Klingon. Uh, the internet voted that I should play Klingon tonight, so... If there's bad Klingons, I'll g Oh, with my dagger. I see. This is a wink. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see where the game takes us. Sick stuff. Booners. Star Trek. Oh, 400 days or purchase a lifetime subscription. Jeez Louise. I guess I'm not getting that. Who is this J Bone? <laughs> Who are you? Gramash! He looks like Predator. Rikio's not here today. He said he had stuff to do. <laughs> so I'm an empty shell. <sighs> oh, is he a Nausicaan? There's so much lore. Crew needs help outfitting our ship. Got anything good? Okay. I don't know. Who is the used ship salesman? Thrill as Matt tries to find a guy and fails to. No. Used in ship salesman is probably the used ship, ship salesman. Oh, yes. Just minutes ago. Just a minute ago. And he seemed in a rush to leave. Didn't think anything of it. I assume he's wanted by the KDF. You know Lucky it, buddy. For you, I kept a copy of the transponder code of the shuttle he just bought. And I will give it to you at no charge. You can tell he's not a Ferengi. I'm wearing my Stroh shirt today, FYI. I think it's backwards on the camera. Or it's just backwards on there. I don't know. Stroh's is great. No beer tonight, though. Just coffee. Tonight. I keep saying tonight. It is 3.08 p.m. Not that late. Okay. Exit to Kronos Orbit. Beam to ship. Hell yeah. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Mmm. Oh shit, we're doing this again. Okay, so... I didn't mean to do that, but okay. I'm disappointed he was able to get off Kronos, but not surprised. He is a slippery one. I like these lizard mans. Do what you need to do to bring him back. You have his warp trail, so I can oh, get yeah. that. 2600 experience points. Experience point. I put the wrong S in the wrong place, or the lack of S in the wrong place. Ooh, and a training manual? Oh, man. I got Congratulations, no. Lieutenant. I'm a lieutenant! Hell yeah. They wish to honor you for your skill in battle. I'm chasing the guy! I don't have time to be honored. Go to sector space. Is that that? I assume it's the big glowing thing. There we go. Okay. So. Oh, we're moving. Is that him down there? Raptor Escort. I don't think that's him. Alright. 
We're gonna keep heading towards this thing. Actually, what's... Woo! What's Triangle do? Something. What's this do? Oh shit, that's my torpedo. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Getting a feel for the game again. So yeah, where is... What do they mean by sector space? Huh. What am I doing? Space chase, yeah. Oh, transwarp, okay. Little cost, oh. Oh, I have uh, no money. Alright, so we're not doing that. Alright. I guess I'm slowly moving towards this thing, yeah? Can I warp? I want to warp. Oh, I keep doing that. Derp. There are zero anomalies, so we're okay on that. No anomalies. Thank the maker. Oh, there we go. Cool. I'm still learning. Beam to first city, I guess? Okay. We'll see. We'll see. They do want to honor me, because I'm so awesome. Hmm, <sighs> yes. Talk to Transporter Chief. Alright, Chief. Oh, that's true, yeah, I kind of, I went up into orbit to find out where he went. Okay, this is starting to make sense now. Now it says go to sector space. What does that mean? How do... <laughs> oh, I'm such a dumb bum. How does one go to sector space? I don't understand what that means. Okay. Ooh, there's some... Oh, there's something here, though. Alright. Huh. What? <laughs> Why is there a marker here? What the frick? Huh. Okay. What is happening? Oh boy. Uh, oh man, there's Worf though. Greetings. How may I assist you? Fight I with know. honor. I By am being Worf, awesome. Son of Mo, Gintak of the House of Martok. And yes, I am the one you have fight with honor. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Michael Dorn. Thanks for being in game. This is... Is this sector space? There's a marker there. Oh, clear. It's just a waypoint. All right. Cool. Cool. I'm learning. Turn to ship. Beat me up, baby! Boop, 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 boop. That is dope! Okay. I like that. Okay. Beam to first city, beam to Klingon city. Those are just my options. It's not telling me I have to do that. I see. Okay. Because my mission objective is still to go to sector space. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Dude, we all need more titty window in our lives. Um, I guess let's just fucking go, right? Here, let's go to in, into uncharted space. Maybe that's what they mean. 
Here we go. Rock and roll. Select a power. That's cool. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go through this asteroid belt. I don't give a shit. Oh, it's a wall. Isn't it? Okay. So I don't follow what they want me to do. An uncharted space, yeah. Sure is. Oh, depart system. Transwarp. Okay, that's probably what they want. Uh, okay. Okay. Baby's first MMO. Well, not really. I played I played World of Warcraft like three times. We'll figure it out, maybe. In I'm in sector space! I did it! Holy shit! Combat does not take place in sector space. Oh, no combat. Oh, Klingons must hate this joint. Menu, select primary mission, and then select travel to automatically fly to your destination. Oh, how fun. You can choose to transwarp to this mission for a billion energy credits, or you can auto-navigate there at warp speed. Well, seeing as how I, I'm a broke-ass busta of a Klingon, I guess we're going at warp speed. Yay! Wow! Ooh, I'm following the shuttle to the Borath system. Is it nice? So sorry. <laughs> there's no, there's no excuse for a Borat impression uh, in 2017. It's even if it's ironically, it's just inexcusable. So. Getting there. <laughs> right, it's just purely inexcusable. Oh, this is weird. I wish you could change views and, uh, and like walk around the ship while you're traveling. That would be cool. Cycle camera distance. Visit Starship Bridge. Fucking sweet. Okay, good. Ah, oh, now it really feels like Star Trek. We can just walk around and get up to shit. And Jess, maybe, uh... Oh, I can't, I can't move the camera fast enough to give you that titty window action you so crave. Oh, captain's chair! Fuck you, you! I, I want to sit in it. There we go. Yeah! Yes! Can I bark orders? You! Keep doing that! You! Do it faster! You! Give me a hot dog! You, get rid of the hot dog that he brings me. I'm the captain. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jess, we both watched it. It was, uh, it was unbearable. It's so cool to sit in the chair. I hope we're still moving, though. I'm worried that we're not. You'll have nothing in like Yeah, right, I'm the captain. I get whatever I want. I'm the captain, and we have replicators. So, you get to live that character in Caddyshack's dream of getting a milkshake and a hamburger and a hot dog and french fries. But it is really great. Uh, what is that dude's name that we discovered is secretly the best part of Caddyshack? I can't think of his name. Ted Knight. Yeah. Ted Knight is low-key the best part of Caddyshack. You'll have nothing and like it! He should have played a Klingon. He would have killed it. Alright, let's make sure we're... Ah, oh, man. Oh, Transwarp. So what do we do? Cycle camera distance? Oh, okay. I was going to say, can we zoom out to, like, uh, the ship? Interesting. Ted Knight. Yeah, he's so good. Is it getting laggy? That's a bummer. Lag's a drag. Ooh, I don't. I think we're zoomed out too far. Leave ship interior. 
Return to tactical view. Ooh, I don't know what tactical view is. There's so much to discover with a new game. Is it tactical view? Okay. Yeah, see, we're not moving. Or are we? No, we're not. That sucks. That'd be really cool if you could, uh... Enable astrometrics. Whoa, that's cool. I might leave that on. Um, that's too bad. I wish, uh... I wish you could be on the bridge and still be moving towards your objective. There was one other option in here I wanted to check out. Oh, no there wasn't, I guess? <laughs> I like that she... Okay. Sit in chair! <laughs> Fuck. Scan area. <laughs> Is that just to pick up if anybody farted on the bridge? Alright. Alright. Get out of chair. Leave ship interior. So yeah, that would just do... Oh, no! Did I just send myself into space? Oh, okay. No. Okay. All right. So we really got to just sit here <laughs> and wait for it to get to place. Oh boy. All right, well. Welcome to space. This will definitely be a stream I can talk over. That's for sure. <laughs> Man, I should have I should have made some tea Earl Grey hot for this. But I did not. So is that the bottom of space? <laughs> is that space's floor? On All the right, front so lines of the Klingon Federation war, brave captains from both sides battle to defend their homes and gain advantages for their faction. Each death has meaning. Every victory can turn the tide. These are the conflicts that will determine the fate of the Quadrant. Dude, having Nimoy in here lends this thing so much fucking credibility, it's ridiculous. Man, I didn't realize, I didn't realize how much I liked him until very recently. I was just like, ah, whatever, Mr. Spock. That's, that's neat, whatever. But he really, uh... Especially in the movies, especially like two through six, he really comes together and is like a cool character. So, <laughs> this is a video game where you literally go, are we there yet? I guess this is the hiccup of, uh, of the free-to-playness, right? Like if I threw a little dough at this, I could just, uh, I could just warp there super fast. Very clever game. Dang. So where are we? Gamma Irudon sector. Are we gonna get into a neutral zone? Boroth sector. Okay. We're getting close. <sighs> <laughs> oh brother this is long road trip the movie don't get too close to that sun sun wow it's a solar system can I zoom in Okay. I'm not making real great tea. I already had a billion cups of coffee. Ah, oh, I could pretend it's Rack to Gino, the uh, the Klingon coffee they talk about in Deep Space Nine, which you know that shit is strong. Bet you that's stronger than cocaine. 
Arcane, because Klingons are crazy. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh, look at this graph paper universe I'm in. This is my kind of uh, this is my kind of universe. Make mazes for days is. Is that the Boreth system? Hey! Look how small it is! These planets are like the size of New Jersey. Continue, space chase! Alright! I'm good at this game, dude. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Captain, the warp trail ends here. What are your orders? Scan every inch of this system until we find him. Put out a wide band hail on all channels. I want to let him know who he's dealing with. That is some gangster shit, so we're doing that. If he's out there, he'll hear it. Kapla! Fuck yeah. Alright. Move to Nav 1. Locate the Federation prisoner. Alright. I'm gonna assume Nav. Oh, is Nav 1 this thing? Maybe it's a little blinky. This little blinkerino here. We'll see. Look at that class M planet over there. Modify beacon. Yeah, nav one. Oop, 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 oop. Full stop. Okay. Oh, we gotta modify another beacon. Okay. That was. Hobbs, calm down. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, dude. Uh, yeah. There's nav two. Fuck shit up. This is cool. I like I like how different the Klingon campaign is from the Federation one. Because we're this is like a manhunt. I don't even remember what the Federation campaign you do in that one. Some nerdy shit about like learning or exploring or something. Fuck that! Vengeance! And battle! Let's get here quicker. There it is. Hell yeah. Hail Federation prisoner. Uh-oh. You? I am impressed. I thought Doran was the right choice for command, but apparently even I can be wrong. The KDF will do well with you in their ranks. You have the tenacity thanks. of a rabbit tar. Aw, thanks. I got in my high school class. I was voted most likely to have the tenacity of a rabid tar. Cause that means a lot. Cut the flattery and cut your engines. As much as I might deserve to rot in a Klingon jail cell and be interrogated to within an inch <laughs> of my life on a daily basis, I have unfinished business. Ooh. It's time I was going. What a saucy bitch! I don't doubt that you would. However, I always have an escape plan. I planted a tiny subroutine in all Starfleet computers. If any vessel arrives in the Boreth system, their sensors will pick up distress beacons from dozens of destroyed Starfleet starships. What? Who is addition, this guy? When we started this conversation, I sent out a few false maydays from these phantom vessels. Oh, you little Ships shit. Are, you've proven yourself to be a skilled warrior already. So I'm sure you know that Kalis said it was acceptable to lose a battle to save an empire or a ship. I suggest you leave. What a dick. All right, Klingon let's talk. Bird of prey. Ooh. Power down your weapons this fancy gentleman. Prepare to be boarded. Uh yeah, no. Sorry not Spock. Our sensors are detecting several Federation distress beacons in this area. This trap is obviously your handiwork. Surrender now, or we will be forced to open fire. <laughs> uh, bu -bu -bu. So, okay. So I can either be like, distress beacons? What distress beacons? Or... <laughs> I can tell him, go fuck yourself! Uh... I guess let's start with this. We'll be, you know, we'll be, uh... Tough but fair. The beacons are as plain as... Yeah. They are no longer transmitted. Oh man, I could be the Klingon that patches up the uh, the alliance. Been seen by one of your own. Yeah. Now we'll talk this out. 
We did not intend to violate Klingon space. We will be leaving now, if you will allow it. <laughs> I like that both options are, I might not let you leave, bro. Rest assured that whoever tricked us here will be found and punished. On that, you have my word as a Starfleet officer. Oh, <laughs> no matter what you pick, it's like, oh, fuck it, I gotta kill you. Sorry. Alright. Mm, sorry. Let's go invisible. Fuck you. Charge that up. Oh, charging that up makes me visible, though. That's okay. Am I in range yet? No. Oh, they don't see me yet because I'm invisible. That's right. Don't fly right next to the enemy ships when they're exploding, Matt. Herp a derp. Let's get right up in their face. Hi. There's nobody here. Isn't that weird? Just kidding. Fuck you. Big boy. Ooh, somebody else is pissed at me. Damn, that thing's huge. Oh, these guys are everywhere. Oh no! Oh, there we go, we got the shield down. Yeah! Hell yeah, son! Oh, I'm still in a lot of trouble though. Oh shit! There's so many! Oh no! <laughs> this is called fighting off more than you can chew. Come on, baby. Hold together. All right. All right. We're still in it, somehow. Holy shit. Woo! Woo! 
Oh, let's turn this shit in. Actually, oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Ready to leave the system on your command. Okay, hold your horses, Kagan. Shit, man. There's Magnemite Ore over here. Don't you remember that Pokemon? Let's get that Magnemite Ore. Shit, man. How do I collect it? Scanning the radiation will cause the wave scanner mini game to appear. Ooh. Let's do a mini game like Mario Party. Match the red waveform to the blue one before the noise success will improve your scan results. Oh. Oops. Ah! Oh shit, that came out of nowhere. Dang. Okay. Woo! Alright, let's talk to Command, I guess. Hey, Command, it's me, Kapla. It is unfortunate that the prisoner has eluded your search. That said, you did uncover a Federation spy nest in the heart of First City. Fuck yeah. We've deciphered their infiltration techniques and are cracking down on their spy network within the Empire. Yeah. One of my prison guards was impressed with your tenacity and asked to be reassigned to your Cool! Crew. We're making friends! Murder friends! And I got 2,600 experience point! Today is a good day to live. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Oh, it's a Dino Man! Fuck yeah! I have created Thrak. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, uh, Jess or other viewer, I see you. Um, let me know what I should rename this guy, if anything. Ooh, and the first rename is free. After that, you gotta pay for it. Damn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let me know if we should, uh, I'll give you guys a couple seconds to weigh in, but let me know if we should change his name or his uniform. Oh. Hang on. We have identified okay. the Federation prisoner, you Potato ghost? Thank you, Panties for Real. Is Franklin Drake. Some of our sources say he's a Starfleet intelligence agent. We'll name him that. I like that, I like Potato Ghost. From what I can tell, ah, Ruapente, he's not nice. part of the normal chain of command. Okay. Previously, we didn't have any images or genetic samples from him, which is why he was so hard to identify. Yeah, the now, oh, man. We'll be up there cool. is work to do. Okay, cool. Okay, so... Ship and crew, bridge officers, Thrak... <laughs> no way! He's my friend! Potato Ghost, he's my best friend. Uh, let's see. There we go. No, I'll only kill him if he, uh, if he fails me. In true Klingon fashion. Or if he tries to, uh... Oops. Or if he tries to mutiny. Then I'll just straight murder his ass. Potato ghost! <laughs> Here we go. Is he the ghost of a potato or <laughs> Oh wait, I had a funny I had a funny like it's neither a pea nor a nut sentiment for this guy. Uh because is it the ghost of a potato? Or a potato's ghost? But that doesn't make sense. Those both mean the same thing. I, I thought that was in my head. I was thinking of ghost pirates. That's, uh, there's a whole uh, shtick somewhere about they're either 
That might be an old South Park bit. It's either South Park or Adventure Time. Uh, not Adventure Time. Venture Brothers. Where they're dealing with pirate ghosts. And it's either the ghosts of pirates. Or ghosts who became pirates. I'm going to abandon this bit. Because uh, it, it stopped making sense. He is Potato Ghost, though. So uh, we got that going for him. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty good. Wait, who else is on? We got Lil Dicky and Potato Ghost. And then, you know, thematically appropriate things. I like it. Okay. Okay. We're trekking through the stars. Priority actions. Ops. Primary mission. I don't want to drop it. <laughs> No, dude, I am that broad. That's kaplach. I made a badass Klingon lady. Because uh, the, the Duras sisters in TNG are the shit. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to play as them. Okay. Why is my only option to drop it? I already forgot what this mission was. I guess let's... Uh... Here we go. Ah, there it is. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah, she got a big old titty window, man. I, I, I tried to be as, as uh, accurate as possible. And she got the fucking bolted on From the heart of eye patch. To the frozen wastes of Rurapenthe. The <laughs> okay. Klingons have built an empire that values As soon as that's an option, we'll explore that. And skill in combat. To be Klingon is to be a warrior. Fight well, live with honor die with a blade in your hand. Fuck yeah. If you can do these things, you will live forever in the stories of the great Klingon heroes. Oh, man. I wish Leonard Nimoy could, uh, narrate my life. But he died. There we go. Oh, that's cool. That autopilot's kind of sweet. All right. Man, Ruripenta is going to be in the middle of fucking nowhere. In the middle of fucking nowhere. It's the, uh, it's the, the penal colony, penal, <laughs> uh, penal colony, uh, asteroid from, uh, the sixth movie, which is, sixth one was my favorite. That was my favorite Star Trek movie, I think. Patrick Stewart or Keith David, those would be good too. Those are all excellent options. You can't forget the old the old standby of uh, Morgan Freeman also. That'd be a great uh, great voice to narrate your life. Just saying, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't kick uh, Mr. Nimoy out of narrating my life bed or his ghost. I should say that'd be fucking sick. Ah, oh shit! I meant to share um. The AV Club or somebody posted this awesome supercut of Keith David just cackling like a madman for like two minutes straight, and it's. I'm flying to it right now. I uh, I haven't paid any money to this game because if you th if if you paid like money, I could just zap there immediately. Um, but since my ass is broke, we're doing it the slow way. Nice and easy. This is a pretty chill, uh, pretty chill Klingon crew. We're just gonna relaxy taxi the whole way there. I, I mean, I assume this is like warp eight. Hey, if uh, if you want to throw me some dough, I, I have a stream tip thing set up below the window. If you feel like it. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, food stamps are good too. Just whatever you got. Yeah, some space bucks. We'll take it. Chuck E. Cheese tokens. It's all good. Whatever you got. A uh, gold pressed latinum is also an option. Five bars. Five bars of gold pressed latinum. 
Is that too, is that too, uh, Star, Star Trek d dorky? Was that too deep of a cut? I don't fucking care. <laughs> I hope it was. Woo! Wow. Space. I, uh, you know, I heard this is the last frontier. There's no more frontiers after this one. Just gets it. Pew, 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 pew. Because Deep Space Nine is the shit. Kind of look like boobs. Cause there's two of them right by side by side. You know, uh, slowly flying through space is a lot cooler when Leonard Nimoy is telling you Star Trek shit. Star Wars is sweet too. They're different, man. They're way different, though. Other than having Star in the title. And featuring like aliens and shit. They don't they don't really have that much in common. I grew up with Star Wars. Um, and then just within the last year or so, kinda dove into Star Trek and I'm like, oh this is fucking sweet. I do good. Man. I hope they have a holodeck on their ship, because damn. Bunch of angry, horny Klingons. <laughs> Just bored on a ship. Woo! So this is my first... Uh, I just started playing this last week. And so I didn't foresee this aspect of the game. Just playing that first segment, I'm like, wow, this is awesome! Uh, it seemed like there were no downsides to this free-to-play game, and, uh, now I'm seeing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah Transwarp. Oh. Well, we're already there. So... Oh, the Kittimer Sector. Man, they, they're na I've seen enough of this stuff now within the last year. I actually, I know some of this shit. Kittimer is just, Kittimer is where they sign the, uh, the peace treaty or whatever. Phew. Oh, there's the colony. Sweet. Okay. Woo woo. Yeah, the Kittimer Accord. There we go. Thank you, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. begin manhunt. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Bonk Bonkers Fizzle Master. Awesome name, also. This is Warden Tuk-Tuk of yeah. the Lorapente Penal Colony. You do not have authorization to land. Turn back now. No way, Jose. Those who violate our security perimeter will be met with force. Tough noogies, buddy. Yeah. Thanks, Kagan. My apologies, Kalekanes. I am honored to meet you. What do representatives of the High Council seek at Rapid? <laughs> there are no Federation calls. Hey man, no judgment Rapid. on names. It's all good. Where enemies of the Empire should be killed, not fed and caught like infants. <laughs> That we could. That is an option. Okay. Our security logs are checked every quarter hour as per regulation. Quarter hour. It's just 15 minutes. No just say 15 minutes. In or out of the colony within the last day. Only two ships have entered the system today. Yours at the Klingon shuttle. Shuttle left this the guy is so salty. Ago. You are still here. Wah, wah. <laughs> More Klingon swears. 
are still prisoners in the prison. I hope. Everybody's so salty. I hope it's Gowron. That'd be sweet. Gowron's the man. Or not him, another guy. That's true. Of all the things. Yeah. I mean, that is kind of the Klingon way, right? Everybody's pretty salty. Pretty salty and pretty spicy. <laughs> oh my god. Tongue punch your fart box. Holy Christ. That is uh, evocative. <laughs> Ready to beam down. Magnetic field covering the entire penal colony. Uh, to prevent them from escaping, we'll have to beam down to the outskirts. Oh, shit. Dude, if this is Rurapente, it's going to be freezing fucking cold. That's going to really mess up with my titty window. Alright, we'll see. So. Let's see. Okay, so who should... Uh, he's got... Disruptor bolt, dual pistol. He's got that. Okay, they all look pretty good. Um, yeah, who should come with me? I'll, I'll give you guys a second to vote. Should we take Kagan, Lil Dicky, or Potato Ghost? <laughs> Alright, Jess. Have fun at FedEx. Titty Windows will be here when you get back. But, uh, yeah. Anybody else who's here... Tell me who you want, who you really, really want. Actually, well, he's tactical, he's engineering, he's science. I think, you know what, I know I said, hey, let's vote, I'm taking the tactical guy. Sorry. Sorry for the fake out on the vote. Penthe? I keep wanting to call it rural Penthe. Like it's farm. Hold! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> In here, dum dum. You may have crossed the magnetic field, but your visit is unannounced, and you will follow protocol. No one simply wanders around this prison. I will escort you to the warden. Lead on, guard. I like that. Even the text only, the text only stuff is super salty. Oh, I wonder if we get to meet Iman. Ah, oh, dog. The visitors are here. All right. Sub warden. Here is unnecessary. The only Federation citizens on Rurapin are frozen. Not shanking the, the dog. But don't let me dissuade you from your. My cards will stay where they are. Might shank this guy though, he's been a super butthole. The security system is quite advanced. This is a prison after all. You dare to the honor of a warrior of the house of Torg. You may be represented. Oh, we might fight. Attack! All right, calm your tits, buddy. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. All right, gain access to prison. Let's go to prison. Just through here, right? Ramp. Oh no, that's a force field. Um. Boy, who thought it would be so hard to go to prison? Jeez, I should have brought a coat. Right, here we go. Let me go to jail. <laughs> Whew. Can I talk to them? Take j Oh, I can take them? That's cool. Yeah, I have a dog now. Can I take that other guy's dog? I'm going to take everybody's dog. Uh, yes! It is, yep. That beloved Dak Shepard vehicle. Alright, do I have two dogs? Ah, uh, just one. Alright. Still, it's better than zero. That's pretty cool. Okay. 
Search for Drake. <laughs> we'll just tell him Nicki Minaj is in here, and then he'll come running, right? What's up, Debadar? Oh, the the hit detection for like talking is super funky. I want to talk to him, but. How do I do it? Not to be confused with... Yeah. Oh, do you think Dax Shepard is named after Dax from DS9? The boringest character ever. Let me talk to him! Fuck! They really don't want me to talk to him. Fine, fine, I'll talk to somebody else. I don't give a shit. Maybe I talked to him already. No, there we go. Where's the human? Don't talk to me. All right. <laughs> hey, I tried, man, I, I straight up tried to stab him in the face, nothing happened. Does the human have any food? It doesn't have any food. Yeah, it's weird. If I put my cursor over them, it's like, no, you can't talk to them. You have to, like, hit a weird sweet spot. They come from Earth. Thanks, buddy. I'm having an easier time reading their stuff today. Which is strange. What's up, Delon? Show mercy! Alright. Sure thing. John Stamos from Full House. Alright, what else we got? They're not talking. Oh, look at this little guy! Ah, oh, the two of these little mans! Little baby guys. Tell me everything! Pick him up like a baby and shake him. We have more prisoners in there. That's a force field. Yeah, okay. So... Wait, did my dog replace my... Oh, no, he... there he is. Okay. I was going to say, I hope the dog didn't replace the bridge officer I brought with me, because that wouldn't do me any good. Here we go. I don't think I talked to this dude. What up, what up? Azaram. Why are you bothering me? Okay. So now I need to confront Kimtar, which is that the... Is that the warden? Cleemore. He's... Boy, he gets a name instead of just prisoner, at least. Alright. This guy isn't Cleemore, is he? No, that's Dabadar. Dabadar. That's a great name. Okay. Uh, and I'm locked in. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Prison guard. Guard Rodek. Yeah. This ding dong. Oh, no, that's Kratak. Okay. We gotta find Kimitar. I'm listening, listen to him play Kitar. Ooh, there's a catwalk! I haven't been up there yet. I don't know how to get up there. Prisoner, prisoner, prisoner. Okay. Prisoner. Tanas. <laughs> Let's go play Tanas. Tanas legend Serena Williams. Okay. I want to get on that catwalk. I guess that's for guards only. Which makes sense. Hello, fellow prisoners. 
Or can I walk through this and I just didn't try hard enough? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Where is this dude? Okay. I've got the AC cranked up, so uh, I really feel like I'm there. It's basically my attempt at virtual reality. Prisoner? I don't want to talk to Prisoner. Talk to... Chanum Tatum? No. Where is this dildo? Harumph. It's Debadar. I've already talked to everybody. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay, I get it. <laughs> you don't want me to walk through there. Understood. So... Yeah. I'm assuming this is probably closed off. Yeah. Yeah, because you die if you go outside. I remember the movie. So, yeah. <laughs> ah. There he is. There he is. Don't think you're going to go untalked to... Tar. Okay. Nice try. Oh, he's up top? No. Hopefully not. No, he's right there. Ooh, what a sneaky fuck. None of these prisoners will help you. They can sense danger far better than you can. He has and big they head. know the risks of getting involved in a fight that's not theirs. Because I'm not a batak like the warden <laughs> and his cousin Odek. Have you asked yourself... Why would a human come to Ura Pinza? Good, good ass question. The human is here to extract a prisoner. There are no other alternatives. If he was coming to kill someone, then he's a koch. All he needed to do <laughs> what a was Everyone sent to this hole dies. Most are dead within a year. Dang. Are you questioning my honor? If you think you're safe because you hold a weapon, you're mistaken. The only thing standing between you and a cold grave is my patience. Really, bro? Someday I'll teach you a lesson for testing my resolve. Really, bro? The human is here, but it is a complicated situation. You must do exactly as I say. The only crime I've committed was thinking there could be peace between the great houses. Oh. And all you need to know is that I'm a Klingon warrior with the information you need. La dee da. All right. Locate the worm. <laughs> I've got a worm for you. He's in prison for being too good at doing the worm. They do not like to let you run on certain surfaces. Okay. Hey, the worm. There you are. I was wondering if I'd lost you. Don't try to play coy with us. You have the subterfuge skills of a wounded targ. Did you <sighs> so think targ no talk. would notice Sick burn. a new prisoner? Or that no one would notice when you tampered with the air exchangers? I see you found a new friend. Look. If I had the time to explain, I would. But I'm on a tight schedule, and you took your time getting here. 
want to know what's going to get on, here. you'll have to ask your new friend. I need to meet Whoa! Quell unarmed prisoners? Let's do it. Fuck y'all. Oh, and quell unarmed prisoners and armed prisoners. Quell all the prisoners. Quell them to death. All right. Let's go quell some more unarmed prisoners. Hey guys, do you need quelling? <laughs> oh, I feel kind of bad shooting this little baby guy. Zari. Ooh. All right, let's go quell armed prisoners. That seems more, a little more honorable. Switch to guns. Cox boy butts? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Ooh, he's a tough prisoner. Wasn't that tough. Oh, yeah. Man, we don't, have, we don't have enough prisoners to quell. The unarmed prisoners seem to be quelling themselves, so that's pretty cool. I think this is the most I've said quell ever in my entire life. So, quell, 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 quell. Oh. Ooh, what's this? Thoron particles? Don't mind if I scan them real quick. Oh shit, we gotta do this thing again. Yeah! Fuck yeah, I matched the waveform. Woo woo. You know me, constantly matching waveforms. Alright. Is this an elevator? If it is, I can't use it. That's a dead ass prison guard. Sorry! Uh, path? It is. Oh shit, there's a guy right there. Derp! <laughs> Bring it, dum dum. Oh shit, that guy's huge. Oh my god. Gotcha. Oh man, I hate picking a I hate picking a ton, like a doorway and going with it because uh Dum Dum want gum gum? All right. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. That's a reference to something, right? That sounds really familiar. So poo-poo on me for, like, uh, not catching the reference. Holy shit. Why don't you, like, give me a warning before you throw a grenade, Kagan? Let me scan this gas real quick. 
There we go. Night at the museum. Sure enough. Didn't <laughs> didn't expect to hear night at the museum. Night at the museum quote. All right. Holy shit. I don't know if you guys heard that. Somebody is angry in the hallway. It was a sick reference. Oh, oh, that's my... <laughs> Sorry, Kintar. Oopsie. The worm has slithered to the surface. We need to stop him before he can reach the edge of the magnetic shield. I promise that I'll explain everything once we track him down. Ooh, actually... Yeah, let's... Oh... I still... I could still quell some unarmed prisoners. I guess I don't care enough. Fuck that. Unarmed? That's hardly an honorable battle, right? As a Klingon, that doesn't really... Slithered to the surface. That doesn't really, uh, excite me. Okay. Across the frozen plain. The human is trying to cross the ice. We need to hurry before he gets outside the magnetic shield. He's got in that shuttle. case, we don't have any time to waste. It will be difficult to track his movements in this flurry. Yeah, we can use the jackal to track him. Trackler, trackle jackal. Yeah, yeah. Send the jackal. Go get him. Go get him, buddy. Oh, I hope I can I hope I can keep the dog, assuming it doesn't die. Kio Bark Bark. I gotta say, uh, when I saw Dum Dum want gum gum on the screen, it kinda splits up uh, the words a little bit, and I was real scared. I saw those UMs, and I was like, oh no, did somebody just, did somebody just text me about cum? They didn't. Hey! Hey, you fuck! Leave my dog alone! Ooh, homeboy's got a machine gun. Come, come, want, come, come, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, it's the internet. It's the fucking Wild West. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah! Stab a Reno! Yeah. You fucking dick dogs. I guess we are in the wilderness. Oh, am I like continually losing health because it's so cold? Hey, douche nozzle. Kio! Oh, I guess I have to talk to him. <laughs> Klingon's known for talking. There's more at stake here than dealing with a lone human on a mission of mercy. In fact, our intelligence says you have very little time left to act. Our friend here discovered that one of the great houses is plotting against the Empire. He sounds like, uh, he sounds like He's Discount Christian Slater. Now our friend here. I'm sorry. Kim <gasps> That's Alexander! That's amazing! Kim Tar. Father still has friends in oh, That's so cool. Great danger. I recommend a trip to the poor system. There you'll find out just how big of a mess you're in. And find the yes, wharf stuff. Good. I don't. He and I have never met, but as I told you, the story is complicated. What that's you awesome. Know is that he speaks the truth. There is a I guess it's a good the thing they didn't let me stab him to death. Our true enemies are closer than we realize. If we want to protect our people, we must go to- I don't care if you trust me. 
Kim Tar yes. father that obligations have been only you can decide how <laughs> I want to be a little dildo classic Alexander line uh oh bro deck I thought you were my bro deck oh, is there he is hey bro deck so how's it going you're a miserable corrupt. Not Ooh. only have you broken penal colony protocol, <laughs> but you <laughs> broke your penal. Affairs of the House of Thor. I don't care if Kim Tar is innocent. We were paid a great deal of that. Oh, to platinum. Keep this Gold press platinum. He's not leaving here. And All right. You. You're a corrupt for shock. I'm gonna kill you, good. Woo! Knocked him on his ass. Oh yeah, if Rodak found us. Wow, he went down like a chump arena. Uh okay. If that but talk Rodak could catch up to us, <laughs> then the warden and his men will soon find us as well. You must have a ship in orbit. We should beam up as soon as possible and discuss. Gazorp Azorp, do you read me? I love seeing the dumb things that I put in in text. Yeah, little Dicky, what's up? <laughs> beam us up, baby. Yeah, sack of like doo doo potatoes. That's a big difference compared to uh, my my big boss fight uh, the last time I played this. I got my ass kicked like ten times. If we head for higher ground, it will be easier for your uh, ship to locate us. Gotta get that high ground. Show up as circles on the map. Oh god. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> it is like a butt dumpling. Dingleberry. Oh, it's too steep. <laughs> All right. Oh, this isn't as far away as I thought. I was like, oh shit, it's gonna take forever. Took like a second. Beam us up. Uh oh. Well, well, well. If it isn't a bunch of douchers. Oh. <laughs> I'm so confused by that. You dishonorable dog. When the High Council hears what Jim Pops represents. I love how I love how much disdain he smears all over the word representatives. Representatives. Enough to keep us warm long after you're dead. Whether lives or dies. Coward's choice of surrender. Oh yeah, little dicky, light him up. Hell to the yeah! Blap 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 blap! Kill him! Yeah! <laughs> Fuck your couch! Deal with the warden? Is he alive? Oh, okay. Yeah, pick us up! Deuces! <laughs> Damn, it feels good to be a Klingon. Alright. We'll contact some other warden. Oh, shit! No! I wanted to hear what he said! The timing is so weird. I have a new captain power available in my radial menu. I do not use my captain power as much. So... Ooh. I can set a quick power. During my time God damn it. As ambassador, I uncovered evidence that <laughs> the three houses of... has okay. been corrupted by a foreign influence and is plotting against the Empire. I was thrown into Urapenthe as punishment for digging too close to the truth. 
The fugitive Drake suggested uh, yeah. that we travel to the Vor system. We hope to find evidence that will the prove fugitive there Drake is started from the bottom. To the Empire. Now we here. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. I want to know about these powers I have, though. Okay, I get it. Game, let me. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Evasive maneuvers. Whoa. That's awesome. Attack pattern alpha. Q. Okay, let's set that as a quick power. Nice. Okay. I think I'm starting to figure this game out a little bit. A little bit. Friend or foe. Travel. All right. All right. Let's get ready for another travel montage. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Whew. Um. This uh, this might be a good time for me to take a pee break. <laughs> Is it better or worse? Alpha's the top, man. Delta's like, you know, you gotta go through uh, beta and... Is gamma between beta and delta? See, I don't know. Or do you want to be closer, do you want to be lower on the list, closer to omega? Because what you really want is either alpha or omega. Oh, delta does, oh. Ooh! Rogue Squadron was great. I liked all those. Rebel Strike was kind of, like, they kind of bit off more than they could chew, but I appreciated the effort. They, they, man, I would love to see another one of those. The Vor system. Okay. The Uridians are not known for their scientific prowess. They're super the fucking dumb. Is listed as a protected asset. According to your ship's computer, the Iridians have a trade agreement with a human scientist named Amar Singh. He is working with someone in the Empire on a genetic research project. It's unclear okay. what Drake expected us to do. Let's investigate. Oh boy. I've got a bad feeling about this. Get it, Star Wars? Star Wars? Hi. This is research facility Lagner Beta Three. What is this thing? I am Gardos Yarden, commander of the station. With whom am I speaking? This guy rules. We weren't informed there would be... We weren't informed. How may we serve the Empire? Commander Plardos. <laughs> Plardos. <laughs> computer access to all recent station communication logs. You will also transmit a manifest of shipments and supply delivery receipts for the last month. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> uh oh. This is unexpected. You do realize that we have an agreement with your government and Dr. Singh. Our research... Target a point near the station bridge. Ha 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 ha. Amazing. One torp. Alright. Oops. Those are phasers. I meant to, uh... Nope, I meant to shoot a torpedo. Pump the brakes there, gang. There we go. Haha! <laughs> Message sent! Fuck y'all! <laughs> Why are you attacking us? <laughs> Cause we're clean house, motherfucker! <laughs> I said across her nose, not up it! <laughs> I got the reference, bonkers, fizzle, miserable, miserable. You're completely mad. This yeah, Klingons, bro. Klingons. You don't have authorization. I'm filing a formal complaint. This is a we nerd alien. A <laughs> Sorry, sir. I'm doing my best. 
<laughs> I'm surrounded by assholes. Of course we're hiding something. We're conducting classified <laughs> research. That's why you are not authorized to access station records. <laughs> you do understand the concept of top secret, don't you? This is preposterous. <laughs> this is preposterous. Hand over top secret information without proper authorization. We will defend ourselves. Oh yeah, night night, bitch. <laughs> You're done goofed. Ah, <laughs> the bleeps and sleeps and the creeps. Ah, oh, Michael Winslow is so awesome. I would attempt to imitate all the fucking rad noises he makes, but it's not even possible. Ooh, they sent shuttles out. What saucy little skanks. Nighty night. Oh, I want to shoot this guy. I guess we're fucking that up pretty solid. All right. Yeah! Awesome. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, you gonna give me the files now? Uh oh. Oh shit! Fucking Romulan scum. Oh, they're hailing us. Alright. All right, I guess we'll yak we with them for a, a minute. Distress call from this station. We are here to provide assistance. <laughs> station commander Plados sounded distressed. He mentioned the files are in the computer. <laughs> oh it would be shit! Of us not to investigate. We appreciate the delicate nature of the situation. Would you mind if we spoke with the station? Perhaps we could resolve. Okay. I find this very suspicious. Why would Romulans respond to a distress call here? Oh yeah, we gotta eavesdrop, for sure. Romulans are shady as fuck. <laughs> I don't need to remind you that we're in Klingon territory. Yeah. The fact that these Romulans are here at all could be the clue. <sighs> Potato ghosts. Tell it like it is, buddy. Oh, the transported shit. Commander hey, Plotus Romulans, what the fuck? The situation. It sounds as if there's been a miscommunication. <laughs> you lie every time you draw breath. The foolish bravado of the Klingon Empire. Attacking your own station and then accusing us. Shields up. Red alert. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, damn. Ooh, damn. We're getting it up. This thing is huge. Shit, I was way too close to that. Ah, I'm getting blown up. Okay, let's fuck. Oh shit. 
I think I've been up more than I can chew here, guys. I think now I'm the one who done goofed. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. It has so much health left. And I am in deep dog shit. Is he helping me out? That's cool, that's good. Okay, I, I need to bounce. We gotta we gotta cruise out of here for a second. Take take a breather. Fuck! Ah! Okay. Holy shit. Way too up close and personal for that thing. <laughs> I got both of them. I hope, uh, I hope Dude Man can uh, keep it together. Oh shit, that thing has a lot of health left. tell Chavez to get fucked. I don't know if that's another reference, but, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, he's getting lit up. He's getting lit up. Yeah! Woo! What is that? The Romulan Republic is thankful for your assistance. Oh. We had tracked the Tall Shiar to this system. But Tell she are shit. Nice. You fought well for a Romulan. The Romulan Republic faces many challenges, but conflict with the Klingon Empire should not be one of them. We believe cool. Tall Shiar agents are collaborating with operatives in the Klingon Empire to steal weaponry and technology. We have uncovered large supplies of Klingon weapons on the planet Nimbus. Ah, Nimbus 3! That's from the fifth movie. Boy, it references. Name dropping. Stolen goods are being transferred to several facilities in the lo the shipping manifests on the supply crates and the weapons themselves. By track transferring the data now, we expect the Klingon Empire to track down the source of these stolen goods and punish those responsible. Yeah. Before All right. Thanks. <laughs> Shut up. We must ensure that our research doesn't fall into the wrong hands. We. We didn't know the shipments we were transferring were stolen. I, I was told that the trades were medical. Plardos, you little wiener. Service. You wrinkly little we wiener. He's literally a penis wrinkle. Authorization and provide the files you have requested. Yeah. Thanks, Plardos. More like Plardouche. Alright, we're not leaving yet, because I want whatever this thing is. Yeah, give me that. Give me that shit. I hope that's another mini game where I get to match wavelengths. Daddy Lake. Oh, cool. Just grabbed it. Okay, so, uh, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. Um, because I got to pee. Straight up, just going to be honest with you, I got to take a whiz. So I'm going to pause for like five minutes. So uh, don't fret. I'll be back in just a sec. Um, so yeah, come on back. <laughs> 